everyone, it's Campfire Trish coming at you from my backyard. Can I just tell you, I am so excited. I have some really awesome videos coming out over the next two months. Today starts my first ever Thanksgiving recipe series. I know times have been really strange and it's very possible the next few months might not look like they have in previous years. But I want you to all know that I, no matter how strange things are, I am very thankful for each and every one of you. Let's all try to take a moment to count those blessings. And with that, my goal is to give you some really easy recipes to try over the holiday season. Some might be pretty traditional, while others might not be. All right, so let's kick off my Thanksgiving series with a yummy appetizer. I've made this many times in my, my traditional oven and this is my very first time doing it over the campfire. I'm going to be making baked brie to be served with sliced apples and crackers. So let's get started. For today's recipe, the ingredient list is very short. It's crescent rolls, some brie, and uh, some apricot preserves. Easy peasy. All right, so my first step's gonna be, I'm gonna actually gonna cut off the casing, the top casing of the brie. And um, you don't have to do this, but we just prefer not having that, um, that wax casing to contend with. So, um, probably an easier way to do this but I just kind of try to work it off so you see here just trying to work that top casing off it doesn't have to be perfect I just try to get the majority off just like that see I'm gonna put this aside and now I'm going to um, open up the crescent rolls always the fun part, right? Never sure when it might pop open and <laughs> scare the life out of you. <laughs> Ooh, there we go. I actually have parchment paper down already um, just because I'm going to put it directly into my Dutch oven. And I'm all done. A little breezy so I'm trying to keep my parchment paper from like flying all over the place. I just want to make sure the perforations are nicely closed. It doesn't have to be perfect. Just enough. Now it's funny, my main squeeze loves cheese. And um, it's, when I was telling him what um, I was going to be doing uh, for this appetizer, he was like, ooh, I don't really don't like brie. And I'm like, what? It's been a while since he's had it though. So I think, I think he might be nicely surprised. I'm hoping at least. All right, so I just tried to, um, kind of pinch those seams closed. Again, it doesn't have to be perfect. Um, and I'm just going now to spread, try not to lose my knife, spread some of the apricot preserves right on top. You can use other preserves. Um, raspberry works very nicely. Um, uh, I don't know about strawberry, but I would think it would. But you can probably, you can use whatever orange marmalade maybe would be good. Um, but you can pretty much use whatever you like. Whatever you think might taste, be tasty for your family. I'm just spreading it on just like this. I've done it where um, I didn't even use breading before. Actually, that's probably mostly how I've done it in the past. Was not without any type of um, um, breading. And um, 
and just put the um, cheese in like a little um, mini craft or some, you know, little mini bowl that's bakeable. And um, then put the, um, the preserves on top of it and baked it that way too. So now I'm just gonna encase, just gonna fold up the breading to make a little casing, just like this. You wanna pinch any holes that you see closed. So none of the yummy gooeyness leaks out. Just like that. I don't think I did a very good job centrating on my parchment, but that's okay. I'm just going to take this whole thing and put it right in my book oven. Like I'm using that parchment, that parchment paper again. <laughs> it definitely helps with clean up. All right, and so oops, let me get that little little pieces I see kind of popping open. That's okay. Okay. So now I'm just gonna get those coals ready, and we're gonna be putting uh, probably eight or so coals on the bottom, and I'll probably put 16 or so right on top of my Dutch oven lid and let it bake for, I don't know, 15 minutes or so and see where we are. We just want this nice crescent roll encasing to get nice and brown. All right. With my new fire um, pit, I don't actually need to use my trivet. I just um, evenly kind of move them around so they're it's about even on top and we'll check it in probably I'm gonna say about 10 minutes all right it's been about 10 minutes or so I'm gonna just take a peek and see how it looks Ooh, look at that he means squeeze. I'm enlisting the help of mean squeeze here for a second. Hey, can you hold this up for a second? So I'm just going to give the dough a, a, a touch. <gasps> Whew! Son of a gun, that one's hot. What do you think? I think it looks done. I think it looks done too. Bam! Look how easy that was, y'all. Check underneath. Um. Can you? Someone else can do that. I use that here. Just gonna try to peek. I'm not sure how to do that. Feels kind of iffy down at the bottom. Why don't you put that on top? You want to feel it? I want to check it. Okay. So there. Look at the team effort. I think the bottom might need to go a little longer. No? Perfect. Hey, main squeeze. Why don't you just lift it up? 
Well, I meant the parchment paper. Oh, just take it out of the parchment yeah. paper? Just be careful. All right, let's give it a try. Look at this. My main squeeze helped me plate it. Isn't it pretty? He actually said it smelled heavenly. Ooh, ooh. He might be thankful for me this Thanksgiving. Let's give it a try. All right, so let's see here. Do I just kind of get into it? Oh, you know what, main squeeze? Wait a second. Let's do we. Yeah, let's uh, peel that back. And get that some cooking time. Yeah. Poo. Oh, hang on. Yeah, it's all good. So, note to self check underneath. Uh, we're gonna put it back on the Dutch oven really quickly and uh, give it just a few more minutes. That looked good though. It does, it did. All right, let's take a peek now. Oh yeah. Actually, you can smell the crescent rolls this time, I should have known, but the cheese is definitely melted. It is for sure ready to come off the fire pit. All right, so this is take two. Now look at that ooey gooey cheesy yumminess. I am so excited to eat this. All right, let's give this Thanksgiving Day appetizer recipe one of this new series a try. get on up in there look at that here is the apple and cheese main squeeze is <laughs> sneaking in there too Ooh. I kind of handed you some oh your hands are oh you got a boo-boo Couldn't really get a good taste of the cheese. Yeah. I'm gonna use it. Use the um, spoon. And like, look at that. <coughs> Try it on a cracker. Mmm. Ooh, the crackers really good. Mm, mm, mm. Here. Look at that. Before he takes it away. <laughs> He's ready. Mm. I like the cracker better. I'm going to try to get some of the casing on this apple, though. So here, I'm making a bit of a mess. Mmm. Now that, this is an awesome appetizer. What do you think, Main Squeeze? It's good. I'm trying to get some of that apricot stuff in there. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, show that big old main squeeze. When it comes to food, he knows how to do it. You should see, look, look at this. <laughs> oh, it's dripping. Well, look. <laughs> mm. This is good. I think this is a very simple, easy appetizer. You just gotta make sure, like really, you should have, I should have baked it for at least 25 minutes. And I was thinking it was gonna go sooner but really it was probably about 20 minutes, 20, 25 minutes of um, baking anyway. So easy, delicious, and uh, a great starter for your Thanksgiving tradition. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and until next time, bye.